Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Welcome to the Daily Drive. I promise I always have shorts on <laughs> unless I have something covering me up. I have pants on. Um, anyway, welcome to the Daily Drive. I am so glad that y'all tune in with me uh, whenever you see me pop up. Make sure you have notifications on, speaking of that, so that you can hop on with me. Good morning, Nicole. Look at you getting up early and hopping on with me. Uh, <laughs> the Daily Drive is a worksheet that I created for myself to help my anxiety kind of stay in check throughout the day. So it is my intentional thought, my goals for the day, and my gratitude. And I bring that and some other information to y'all Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because I feel like my purpose in life is to help people understand. I don't know what's happening right here, y'all. Um, is to help people understand that you can be in control of your thoughts, your mind, your life. You can create happiness inside even while you have anxiety and i have figured out how to do that so i bring you this information uh today though is gonna be a little short because in case you can't tell um i think i'm a little bit sick what i was thinking over the weekend was just some allergies um has kind of turned into a little bit of a fever uh sore throat i'm a little bit raspy uh, and I just, I don't think it's only allergies and I have just been super duper tired and I know that those are all symptoms of allergies, um, but allergies don't usually hit me this hard. Look at what I just did and that's going to bother me y'all. So I'm just going to keep talking while I fix this. Um, but my husband had a little bit of a head cold before we went on vacation. Um, and I didn't get it then. And so I think I got it now. Um, and so I think this is a little bit more than allergies. I've been taking the allergy medicine and I'm still feeling like this. And like I said, I have a little bit of a fever. Uh, so I'm going to keep this one short simply because it's kind of uncomfortable to talk a lot right now. Um, it starts a little bit sore and I want to go have some coffee and some water, uh, and watch murder documentaries and go to sleep. Um, maybe I try to switch off the murder documentaries when I know I'm about to fall asleep because I don't want to have weird dreams. Anyway, I'm getting way off topic, but I'm a little bit sick, and so I, I, I think that this is more than allergies. And so the quick point that I want to bring to you today, it's getting harder to talk and to breathe, so I'm going to get back on track. The quick point that I want to give to you today is that you have to allow yourself grace. You can be in control of your thoughts. You can be in control of your mind. You can set goals. You can be ambitious and wake up and give yourself a huge long to-do list, right? You can do all of those things, but you have to give yourself grace. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. Sometimes, I'm sorry, I have to be gross. <laughs> sometimes, I couldn't breathe. Sometimes you... Sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes you unexpectedly unexpectedly get sick. And so the other point that I want to make as well is that when you let go of expectations a little bit, it helps with giving yourself grace. And what I mean is that I haven't made it to the gym. I haven't really been active. I was on my period, first of all, last week. Um, and with a uterine fibroid, like being on my period is awful. And then like these allergies started to pop up. And so I didn't want to, or what I thought was allergies. So I didn't want to be outside and add to it and all of the things, right? So I haven't been to the gym in, or even been active, gone for a walk, rode, rode my bike, whatever. Like I haven't done anything in Go, like a week last week and now today and so over the weekend I was like you know Monday Monday's coming I can get back on track I'm gonna you know hit the gym on Monday and yada 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 get back on track you know what you do in your mind every weekend when you're sitting on the couch eating all the food and binging all of your shows right you're like I'm gonna go back to the gym on Monday and then what happens Monday like I can't breathe should I go be on the elliptical right now probably not should I go for a bike ride outside right now probably not right and so I you know end up feeling like this and it's not great for my body to add <clears throat> that strenuous physical activity on top of that right so what, what I have to do is I have to let go of that expectation. Just because Monday is coming up doesn't mean that it is like any, you know, crazy thing that you're all of a sudden going to be able to start now because it's Monday, right? You have to let go of that expectation of the day, the time that you have to do something, 
um, you know, the, the, the way that you feel about it, right? Like I said, just because Monday is coming up doesn't mean any crazy thing is going to change and I can now go to the gym with full force, right? Because now I'm sick. So we have to let go of that expectation and we have to give ourselves grace and listen to our body. It is great to set the goal to be active, you know, five days a week or every day or whatever it is that you want to do. But when you get up and your body is not in the state that it should be in to add activity, y'all, I don't even want to do like crunches at home right now because I just can't breathe. <laughs> this is a struggle, right? And so I have to listen to my body and I have to give myself grace and I have to remember that it's not smart to add something else on right now. I'm going to lay probably on the couch all day, so I'm I'm not really going to like eat a lot. You know, I'm going to have my normal breakfast, lunch, dinner, right? I'm not going to sit around and eat because I already did that over the weekend because I told myself I was going to get up and go to the gym on Monday, right? So this hopefully is going to clear up by Tuesday, Wednesday, and I can get active again. But right now, I have to give myself grace and rest my body while I can, while I have the time to. So what I want to touch on real quick today, because I'm going to go back in the living room, what I want to touch on is that you can have crazy ambitious goals that you set. We talk about goals when we do the daily drive together, right? You can set these goals, but you have to allow yourself grace. You have to understand how your body feels. You have to know what your schedule is looking like, right? I, before I understood fully how my goals and things should work out, I would just like stack my day up with everything. Like I know in my mind what I want to do. So Monday's coming and it's all dumped on Monday, right? And then I get to Monday and I'm like, holy crap, I got all this stuff to do. And then it's another mental block, right? So you have to understand what your schedule is, what your body is feeling like, what's going on, so that you can let go of certain expectations and so that you can allow yourself grace. It was unrealistic for me over the weekend to say, I'm going to get back to the gym on Monday. I'm going to sit here and eat all the food so I can go back to the gym on Monday. That's unrealistic, right? What I should be saying is that I'm going to listen to my body right now, and when my body feels good enough, I'll be active again. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is. It doesn't matter if Monday is this reset of everything, right? My body may not feel good enough until Thursday. And so Thursday, I'll go for a bike ride or I'll go to the gym or whatever it is, right? So instead of saying Monday's coming and I'm going to get back to the gym and I'm going to be active and I'm going to crush all these goals that I put off all weekend, I am telling myself today that I am listening to my body I am allowing my body to rest. I will go back to the gym and be active and all of those things when I can breathe long enough to do that, right? So my reminder for you, find motivation in letting go of expectations. I always love to bring Monday back to motivation, right? Find motivation in letting go of all of those expectations and creating your own expectations, creating your own, and not even expectations, but just creating your own intentionality, your own intentional thoughts. Let go of the expectation that Monday is coming and you can be active again and allow yourself the grace that you need to rest right now, and when your body feels up to it, you'll be active again, right? Let go of the expectation that something is happening in your life, and so you have to maneuver a certain way beforehand. Allow yourself grace. When you flip your perspective from believing that you have to do something because of some other expectation, and you flip it to doing things for you because you love you, everything will change. The biggest example of that that I have to give you is my weight loss and fitness journey, whatever you want to call it. I am no longer on a health and fitness journey. I'm on a self-love journey because I heard somewhere in personal development that I, instead of feeling like I have to go to the gym because I'm comparing myself to everyone else and feel like I have to lose weight, flipping that perspective to being active and doing those things because I love myself 
really opened up so many other things. It's, it's, it's a whole other live that I can talk about on its own, which I'll do one day because it really helped me. Um, but when you flip that perspective, when you let go of some of those expectations that you're carrying, and when you allow yourself grace, when you listen to your body, when you cut down those walls, when you tell yourself, I will do these things when I can, rather than, oh, I got a deadline. I got to do these things right now, right? So flip that perspective and allow yourself grace. Motivation Monday, take away from this that when you flip that perspective, find motivation in waking up for yourself, living for yourself, cutting down expectations, and allowing yourself grace. You will feel so, so free. I am going to go lay on the couch and not feel bad about it because I feel like dookie. <laughs> and I don't want to make it worse. I don't want to, I, I want only a few days of sickness versus a week, right? I want, I want it to go away so that I can get back to all of my goals. So I'm going to let y'all do the daily drive on your own because I'm going to go have some water and whoops, some hot coffee for my throat. But make sure you set up those intentional thoughts for the day. I always like to use the, the uh, format of I am committed to whatever it is. Today, I am committed to listening to my body and allowing myself grace, right? Sometimes I use I am committed to maintaining my own energies. I am committed to finding joy and finding gratitude throughout the day, even in the struggles, whatever it is that you need to flip that switch. And you can have more than one, write down more than one. So you start with your intentional thought. You set some goals for the day, tangible, achievable goals that you know you can cross off today. This is not the place for your big audacious goal. You can write that somewhere else. This is your tangible, achievable to goals. Guess what today mine is going to be? Big fat nothing other than maybe like doing some dishes because I can do that real quick, right? And then you practice gratitude because gratitude changes the chemical makeup of your brain. So I'm going to let y'all do the daily drive on your own. Uh, and I just want to remind you that I just wrapped up a three-day mindset reset and I recorded it all so that you can have it too. So if you need a quick three-day uh, flip, if you need a quick three-day, um, you know, switch, if you need that push, uh, let me know and I can send that to you. It's not public right now, so that's something that you'll get extra from me um, just for letting me know. And uh, it, they're like 15, 20 minutes on YouTube and I can send you that link. So let me know if you need that three-day reset. If you would like to be part of my Becoming Unlimited Facebook group, where you get just a little bit more content about unlimiting your thought processes. The kitten's over here, if you can't tell. You get just a little bit more content about unlimiting your thought processes, plus these daily drives and a community of support. It's totally free. Um, let me know. That's called Becoming Unlimited. If you get anything out of these things that I bring you, these lives, my content, let me know. Tag a friend, share, uh, leave a comment. If you're watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay. Make sure you turn on the notifications so that you get informed when I go live and you don't miss any of this information because y'all, you can find motivation in waking up for yourself every day. You can find motivation in letting go of other people's expectations and you can find motivation in allowing yourself grace when you need to. Just because it's Monday doesn't mean you have to feel bad about skipping the things that you said you might do. Instead of telling myself that I'm going to be active because it's Monday, I'm telling myself that I'm allowed some grace and I'm going to go rest until my body is ready to be active. And you can flip that perspective as well. The expectation that is weighing you down is someone else's or is some perception that you need to think about differently. So just flip your perspective and then find motivation in waking up for yourself every single day and allowing yourself grace when you need it. If you're going to be watching murder documentaries all day too, let me know because that's what I'm going to go do right now. I love y'all so, 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 so much. I appreciate that you let me come on here and talk to you. I appreciate that you will allow me to give myself grace. I promise I will be back as soon as my energy is 100% and I can bring y'all the oomph. But find motivation in waking up for yourself every single day doing the things that you know you need to do for yourself, 
letting go of other people's expectations, but then allowing yourself grace when you need it. I love y'all. Happy Monday. Give me a hashtag Motivation Monday. Give me a hashtag replay, hashtag Sarah Money, whatever it is. I love you. I will see you soon. Hopefully back at 100%. Happy Monday. Have a great day.